if I can remember correctly, it was about 10, 10.30 that night. I was walking home from work, coming down North Boulevard, the freeway, almost a mile from the Peachtree restaurant where I worked part-time as a dishwasher. About 45 minutes into my walk, exhausted, after pulling an eight-hour shift for June. Thanks, Phoenix. I appreciate it, Sam, the night boss, said to me before shutting the door behind me. Then I began my walk home. The arch in my foot hurt. On top of that, I was soaking wet, which made it even that much colder. It was the middle of October. Funny. Just three weeks ago. Believe it or not, it was hot outside. Now look, it's freezing cold. I'm seriously bundled up in my black army jacket, gray Timberlands, and dark blue jeans that were neatly cuffed at the hem. It was a quiet night. Not much going on. Maybe an occasional car or pass by or honking its horn, but nothing serious. So here I am, splashing through the wet grass. My feet are like seriously numb. Both hands crunched up in my pants pocket, rolled up like a ball. I could vaguely see the intersection up ahead. Damn. I'm so tired. I was thinking to myself as the cool air splashed up against my cheeks. When almost out of nowhere, I have sworn, I noticed something, someone, a figure further up the road. Is this person coming towards me or away from me? Thinking to myself, that's when it struck me. How odd for someone else to be walking this late at night. Quickly, fear grabbed my heart, cause Phoenix knew he'd been living here for years, excuse me, working here and has never seen anyone else walking this late at night aside from himself, hoping this was a woman out to get milk for her child or some old acquaintance he hadn't seen in a while. Never the least, still following the three shadows. As I passed the tall street lamps up ahead, I could vaguely hear something further up the road. Phoenix thought to himself, baffled at what my eyes caught a glimpse of earlier. I was embarrassed by the fearful panic that overtook me. Chills on the lower back of my neck grew intense. In spite of the fear, Phoenix rushed home as quickly as he could. Then all of a sudden, woof, 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 the sound of a dog's barking startled me. He sure caught me by surprise, thinking to himself, Grab a hold of yourself, I thought. I couldn't help but be puzzled because of the sudden calmness in the air, though. Shortly after, I realized there hadn't been a car pass by in a good five, ten minutes or so. I must have clearly been a good 200 steps away from this person, and I, I could pay more attention to him. It wasn't a woman as I thought before. And to defeat that circumstance, wasn't it someone I thought I'd recognized earlier? Or was it a little too early to tell? But the way he walked was familiar. The closer and closer I got to him, the more and more focused the young man became, focused enough to judge his appearance. Coincidentally, he was dressed in the same attire as I. Black jacket, gray Timberlands, 
and blue jeans, roughly my height, muscle tone, weight, everything. But it had to be sure. I mean, look at the odds. My hands still firmly shoved in the front pockets, tightening up my muscles as my bare flesh came up a sudden gust of wind. I could hear the sound of the gravel crunching beneath my feet as I walked the pavement. Not only seven blocks from my home and like 25 away from this stranger and I, I headed ahead of me I could have say I did recognize him or didn't I? Where or when have I seen him? I aggressively asked myself the closer and closer I got to him. The more familiar he became. The two of us continue walking to our destinations, as if there were not a care in the world, racing. Home was I, he who knows. I suppose the thought of me thinking I recognized him earlier made me think that I was safe, but on the other hand, I didn't recognize him. If I didn't recognize him, that would be embarrassing. A few seconds had passed. As we got closer, I watched him. He watched me. For a split second, I'll just walk right past as though I didn't realize he was there, thinking to myself, you'll think that I was strange or some stupid kid or something. What once was fear of being hurt was now fear of being noticed. We were finally eye to eye, this person and I. I thought I'd recognized earlier, wasn't, and in fact, a total stranger. But just as I said earlier, he was dressed in the same clothes as I. Identical shirt, pants, boots, black jacket, everything. Naturally, I extended my hand to greet him. Hi, I'm Phoenix, I said to him. He looked me in the eye. So out of curiosity and common courtesy, of course, I attempted to ask him his name. But before a word could utter out of my mouth, he interrupted and said, Hi, I'm Phoenix. Who are you? We looked each other in the eye for a brief moment. I was shocked out of my mind, speechless. I couldn't utter a word if I tried. I'd actually walked into myself and shook my own hand that night.